Welcome back, guys, to Mario Plus Rabbids Sparks of Hope, where last episode we took on Boastrella's Spellbound Gateway and defeated the 15 enemies within before returning to the Spellbound Woods to meet with Sweet Lopek, locating the Sleeping Dryad, who we follow to her nest, managing to defend it from attack as we wonder what will happen next. Oh, oh, you say my nest, but, but my seeds, they're gone. Please, you must find my seeds. You see? You see, the trees of the Spellbound Woods are magic, but they can't turn into saplings on their own. Come, follow me. Proving yet again that Luigi's the best? Sure, sure. Each seed. After their genesis in the nest, each seed gets their start in life here in my nursery. Incredible. It's, it's beautiful. I had no idea. Each tree is like a dear friend to you, isn't it? Oh. Perhaps you're not just a hatchet man for the powerful pumpkin spice producers industry after all. <laughs> Those two might be a while. In the meantime, I can help you find the missing seeds. What? See, they're invisible to most folk, but you can tell you're close if you know what to look for. Well, thankfully, nothing's invisible to me. Now, let's go find those seeds. Wait, we don't actually own Zephyr Dash yet, do we? I'm pretty sure I did an intro acting like we got him. Whoops. I don't know. Did we? Ah. Sometimes you get confused about what you did and what you didn't. Especially when you're not actively using the spark. Seeds are around here somewhere. Well, I saw one behind a thing. So I'll jump down spot here, which is near the tree. Okay, well that seed's invisible. Where do we, uh, where do we put it? We give it to you. Okay, if we head back out of this area, the fox. Say head back out of this area. Just wondering if that jingle is meant to represent something. We saw a seed behind a barrier. Now that's not a seed, that's a triangle. <laughs> Where does one put an triangle? I'm assuming I came in from this direction? Yeah, yeah. Okay, that means we can successfully reach the triangle. <laughs> to reach a seed. A visible one. Fire up that steely stare even more. Be kind of silly though. I mean, good, but you know what I mean by silly is in. There's points where you can easily go into the completely overpowered thing. The seeds are close to red flowers? Are they? Oh, you mean the seed I already picked up? Okay. You're already telling me about that. So doing I can jump down here, you gotta kind of expect it to be somewhere around that region, right? It's in the trees. So hard. Yeah, might as well have a look with the uh, invisible eye as well in this somewhat dead end, just in case. They did it! Dryad, they found all the missing seeds. It's time for you to do the magic of life. Ah. 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 
<laughs> Thank you. Thank you, heroes, for bringing my seat home. It may seem small as compared to saving the galaxy. The trees. But inside every seed is not one tree but many, and it is trees that give hope to the souls of people. Whoa. It takes a lot more to grow a tree than to chop it down, but I had no idea. Never. I'll never touch my axe again. You have my word. Hmm. After all that trouble to get it back? No, but there is an alternative to regularly harvesting the trees you desire. Trees! Like all things, trees have their cycle of life. When the old ones fall, they must clear away to make room for the new. You can do it! There are several of these you may use to fix the Sweetie Pie Honey Snookums Bridge. By doing so, you will give them new life as well. Mm-hmm. Deal. Only if you come with me, so I can dedicate the rebuild to you, and so we can tell everyone about our new arrangement. We've got sustainable timber. Cool. I wonder what the uh, dryad got combined with. A pine cone? An actual dryad? Have you restored the bridge? You have restored harmony between worldly state and glorious nature. Well, we're just glad to see everything turned out for the best. Now, if you'll excuse us, we... <coughs> yeah, I agree. What dares eclipse and cloud the sun? Two hearts! That beat against the walls of time. Our eyes. When mine eyes are blinded and so are thine, with crooked back and webbed skin. We... We breathe, breathe our last. Hands intertwined, and still and still the sun doth shine. Oh, goat! My followers love it. They already made it into an inspiration... Oh, hashtag inspirational waterfall meme. Work great. Bravo! Way to spit fire, Woodrow. Beepo, something happened during Woodrow's poem. I stopped analyzing and... and felt something. Really? Wow, that's... unexpected. Beepo, are... are you crying? No, of course not. Forests have lots of powdery mildews. One must have... corroded a circuit. Sorry to interrupt, but can I come with you guys? No sense in me being a third wheel around here. <laughs> ha! The coffee wishes to escape. A dryad's dream is complete. A Zephyr Jash joins the team. Right, so this is obviously a Gust Dash. We still don't have an Ice Dash, which is uh, the one thing I'd kind of like at this point in time. To fit everything. All dashes are charged with gusts super effect and deal 150% damage. Knocks them away massively. If we put it on. So, depends who we need to use that against. The mystery of love is a new memory. And dry it itself. So let's check them out. Bioforms are so unpredictable. The dryad of the spellbound woods has been foiled to Sweet Lopec the Lumberjack for so long they became bitter adversaries. Yet, even after their feud reached its crescendo, the pair built a bridge, both literally and figuratively, between the worlds of nature and industry. Balance, compassion, kindness, these much more than blasters may be the key to setting the galaxy right. Yeah. Violence is not as good as love. Earlier, I observed two bioforms who were enemies and ideological opposites find a common understanding which led to respect and then love all in an afternoon. How did two creatures who have spent so much time in direct conflict become so infatuated with one another? Was it the intensity of their feelings that, when turned on their head, brought them together? Will I ever understand it? Can I? Well, it seems that you are kind of getting emotion. 
You are learning bit by bit. So as for the stages of this planet, our progression is now 90%. And there's just the one hit in here, really. And that is, we have to get 24 sparks and come back. So, with that said, I think that leads us to our shop, right? There must be some percentage tied in the stuff that I gotta buy here, like the memories. Which are now bought and paid for. We have nine other tokens. We'll buy one of these. And... Oh, actually, I think I might just buy three of these and buy the extra potion so we can get the level up. Because you never know when we might come back to defeat that guy and get the last thing there. So percentage wise, that now brings us probably higher up. 95. More than we got on our last level. We should probably head back to when you think about it. Right, we got a few more memories there. Of enemies. So let's hear them. The depleter is a curious study. Rather than keeping its distance, it gets in close where it can deplete heroes of their vitality while strengthening itself in the process. When attacked, a special ability allows it to counter immediately. Water bothers them little. Indeed, it seems to have an answer for everything, save for shock-based electrical attacks. It's just great that we have our running attacks for doing that. There is little to suggest that magicians are anything but elite foot soldiers in Curse's army. They keep their distance from heroes, healing and protecting their allies as needed. Forged from lightning, they have optimal resistance to electrical attacks, but are surprisingly vulnerable to ooze. Most importantly, not a ghost. Fair is far beyond the battlefield, Rabbit Peach once said. She was not referring to ghostly walkers at the time, but might as well have been. They turn invisible while moving, rendering any reflexive reaction abilities worthless. There is one counter tactic. Frostbite charged attacks freeze them in their tracks, but we must be careful. When surrounded, they repel foes with strong gusts of wind. I think that's the most annoying thing about them as well. Right, it looks like Palette Prime is done for now, or at least as much as we can do, because we have to defeat that last guy for the last planet coin. So it's time to board our ship yet again and blast off. I was like, where is it? Now, should we go back to uh, places prior traveled? As we've just unlocked Terra Flora, that is nice and all. It'd be nice to see if we can actually get 100% somewhere. So, considering we did the secret area twice, we can't tell if it's 100% for this level. So we just do it again now, see if that leads to us getting 100% in Beacon Beach, and then we'll know that that's actually part of the criteria. We know that there's a reward, after all, for the second time round. So why not do it again? Then we'll go to uh, our Freezy Peaks place. What's it called? Pristine Peaks. <laughs> Freezy Peaks is Bandu Kazuni, isn't it? What game is Freezy Peaks specifically from? It's not exactly uh, the biggest original name, I will admit, but still. Right, so doing you twice. Does that get me a thing here too? The problem is I've got to remember the puzzle. I'd hope the enemies would run away from me as well, considering I'm a higher level up. Yep, we got our timer. Hurrah! Hurrah! Only 110? I need more than that. It's not like the last thing we did, which i just literally done again. Okay, successful dodge. Successful dodge. Uh, where's the guy? I was about to say, there should be a guy here. <laughs> My god! It is from Banjo Kazooie! Hey! 
I don't like to point out that these enemies that have charged me stand no chance. I ran into a wall. Wait, who? What? No. That was just unfortunate. <laughs> So ideally, I need to be like here. Yes. Pathetic. I should start spreading the distance. Yeah. One and done. So we can hit our foes, and our last one is all the way over there. <laughs> ha. Imagine if this did count for time, though. We would be screwed. He has spotless overalls. He just wants you to know. Hi! Uh, <clears throat> Oops. Uh, where was the triangle thing? Did I just run down and didn't even find the thing I'm supposed to find? Well, at least the enemies are going to be out of the way. Always look on the bright side of life, right? You, Better. you, anyone else <laughs> want more? Increase the range. Oh, God. Anyone else? Perfecto. Huh? Just gotta hope that range growth actually brings us to that point. I'm right at the point where I could put the thing. I haven't found the thing. Oh, yes, yeah, because down here. Still more to go. Wait, I'm so confused. What have I done wrong here? I was strong. <laughs> My god, it's great that they have a really long time limit for this. This is a uh, this is a failure of a time trial. Oh, too easy. There you go. And where is uh? What's the other guy? Oh, he's right next to us. You lived. One day. Say, <laughs> better not. Okay, will this be the last 1%? It actually knocks that out of my hand. Ah, I've got tired of it! <laughs> my goodness. I'm glad for that long, long, long time limit. So if I got punished for... Uh, Doing other things. We've got the finish, finish boom umbrella. Secret zone's cleared. Let's see if that is the percent we needed. Considering it is a boom uh, blueprint, I've got to assume 100% it is. Because that is part of our criteria for completion down the bottom. There we go, 100%. Oh, you get a gift. A gleaming blade. So there is a weapon or something to get for everything being done in each area. So let's go to Pristine Peaks and see what that gets me for doing it. Oh yeah, I'll check how my weapon's skin then. Oh, we gave you this for protecting Beacon Beach, but... Ask that you not correct people who think it was him. May as well have on our special weapon, right? We earned it. We're 100% completion. It's just a skin, but it's a tangible reward. Remember, in the days where skins were in games, 
and they weren't just purchased via deal, you know, like paid stuff. Those were the days, right? It's true of this game, I guess. Right, Pristine Peaks had a bit more to it. There was, not only we have to do the time trial again, there was, of course, the big guy on there. And there was also, like, a section on the uh, right side at the start of the map that definitely required our newest power to have a look around in. So I think, first of all, we should probably defeat the thing, is what I'd say. So where was that? You're in there. So it was the tiny dancer, lock the pipe with 19 sparks. How many sparks do I have? It's a good question, actually. I'm not sure. Surely it's probably like actually gated so that you have to complete the next world, get the sparks to be able to then get in. That's what I'd imagine. Buy some more of these. Uh, we are actually missing two planet coins from this place. So I'll take the spark potion for now. Oh, we're missing like three sparks coins from this place, which is interesting. Unless I just gated myself off of buying the blueprint now. These potions are pretty good for me after all. So it's a big squashette. Will I live? Will I die? We're about to find out. This looks like a job to Luigi for me. The tiny squashette. <laughs> Tiny dancer. <laughs> How much HP will this guy have? That ain't so tiny. K. Fifteen K. So we got deep freeze guys over here. They're level 22, so this is actually the level I'm supposed to be doing this mission at. Most guys here are weak to burn. What is the squash set if anything is weak to? Oh yeah, resistant to all. So you want to be using just normal damage. Oh, not resistant to vamp. When you look at it. Movement isn't massive. Doesn't move forward. Uh... When attacked, if I'm right saying. So we can kind of kite that a little bit more. We've got a couple of lone wolves too. They're in an incredibly annoying position behind it all. So as for the team, Luigi's definitely a big go here. Then it's, it's mainly sparks, to be honest. Like, the guys that we've got aren't terrible for it. I mean, I guess Rabbit Peach would be amazing. A Rabbit Rosalina would be amazing. You don't want anyone activating from long, like, close range. Ah, uh, yeah. Rabbit Mario would be good on the guys to the side, but he's not good for the rest. Bowser with his little robots would probably be doing some chip damage. At least has a long range. I don't know. I'm assuming Mario would be pretty good. Because of his sight as well. And lowering the cooldown to one turn means you can get more damage in on top of everything. So again, it's the using the same kind of functionality there. And then apart from that, Rabbit Rosalina would be good just for doing damage and maybe freezing our foes. But we're losing out on uh, some certain attacks. 
If I were to put one in out of everyone, it'd probably just be Mario then. Okay, in terms of sparks though, we need to add in a lot of fire. Fire again, and I guess won't be bad either. We don't have a fire dash. You're kidding me. This makes me very upset. Could I at least add some damage there? And I guess the electric doesn't really hurt. Okay, we'll go with this. Uh, I might just level up our ally, maybe? I don't know. There, I've done it because I'm an idiot. This group has a lot of damage when the uh, enemy starts to come in towards us. It's more about killing off some of the other approaching enemies in the meantime, though. So we don't have a fire dash. So here we go. Let's go. So we don't have a lot of damage otherwise, do we? When you look at it. We can get a good hit in there. I summon this guy as a target. Same as that guy. <laughs> You're our target now. <laughs> and then we need to just start pumping out damage via this. <laughs> Apart from that, what we're doing with you two is going to be a bit of an issue. You need to be able to get in, but you also need to be able to get out. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Oh, yeah. I mean, it kind of works, sure. Yeah, Luigi can't hear that one. Luigi didn't hit the other one then. So we haven't actually killed any of these guys as of yet. Uh, we do have some interesting options. How is that not enough damage? Run! Oh no! He does that too! Oh, that's problematic! <laughs> oh, now I can't even flee this one when it goes off. I only took a tiny amount of damage, but. Yes, that wasn't ideal. I most likely have a chance to get this guy. Whoosh! That means Mario and me will get here again. <coughs> I think Edge might be dead from those guys. I'm not even joking. Depends who they choose to attack. The advancing guy or not. Do you know what I mean? I have very messed this up. They did indeed choose to attack the advancing guy. 
<laughs> Who is dead? There's no way you can survive all of this now. Hey, uh, you can go pretty far, can't you, Mrs. Um, and you can't be, you can't be dashed, and we can't do anything about you being close anyway because of the nature of you. So, kind of just need to move away a fair bit. Highly resistant. The question really is how far can this target move every turn? We can actually lock the area to figure that out. But then it can jump too. So it moves to that and then it jumps. So it can it can get people quite nicely, can it? I may have uh, locked you out of escaping a little bit here. No? Okay. Well, that leaves everyone a bit separate. More so than we'd like. I don't know if being shot really would stop them in their tracks, but... We need to set up a team jump with Luigi. Thing up here is gonna be okay. I'm not confident though. Oh yeah, it's not okay because you're there. Depends on which way you're going to attack. You could really get messed up by this one. Take that! The terrible thing is just that we are so separate now. Like I need to kill these wolves, but now Mario's out of range for the good stuff. <laughs> Luckily, I've got some vamp stuff, I guess. Who are you choosing to attack? So that was actually in range. With this coming in as well, that's terrible. Uh... Yeah, so, you're blocking me off now a little bit and I can't charge you, which really sucks. <laughs> we need to kind of get everyone out of here. But to do that is a nightmare. <laughs> Possibly an impossible one. At the very least, an implausible one. Just because the nature of the jump move itself. I have cut movement by falling down. Okay. Don't you be laughing. I kind of need to take on those wolves. 
and do damage to that. If I can take out the wolves, then I get the top area, and then I can play up and down a little bit. But again, this uh, this enemy of ours doesn't really have much of a... This would be better with Peach. Super duper better with Peach. Okay, well, first of all, I just need Mario to go a distance. But I don't think we can even take Mario when you look at it. <laughs> this is all pretty bad. I actually do not know what to do. We're gonna have to leave Luigi behind for a time, even though he's our DPS. So Mario can get to there. I think I'm making some very terrible decisions, by the way. Hmm. That's not enough. for me to remove that cover like that. <laughs> oh no, come on. Well, that resets the movement distance, I guess. If that's now in range that I... Oh my goodness, how... how come on, look, look. You're that close. Can you just go that much distance, please? Pretty please. Like, pretty, pretty please. Well, I need to do as much damage slash kill this guy. That is one of our be-all and end-alls of this turn. I think I've still got my attack, and I can at least get a, a big heal. And I'm pretty sure this guy can't reach from there. As for Luigi and his options today, he has a steely stare again. This person can reach me no matter what. So I think I am only killing that guy and steely staring and getting knocked off. And then Luigi's going to be in some big trouble. The closer this guy gets, the less damage Luigi gets. I did less damage than we'd have thought. Okay, so Luigi's been pushed out here. Luigi's going to need to heal as one of his objectives in this turn alone. Uh, Mario's got his fire attack back, which isn't bad. Hmm, indeed. We need to get Mario, uh, Luigi out as far as possible. Here we go. It is objective one, I guess. Yeah. See about killing that guy.
I actually took on a much harder battle than I thought I would. I thought I'd be done by now. No joke. I really did. Can't go much further than that. But now I can reach the bottom. I can at least get some added Mario damage in. <laughs> All right. Off you go. The question is... Am I really attacking the guy I should be? Oh wait, I hit the other guy? I hit the portal as well? I guess it's not too bad considering where everything else ended up. Yeah, yeah it actually doesn't work out too bad at all. I can get the portal. Ha! Question is, how do I keep running uh, Luigi as far away as he needs to be run? I was right to stock up a little bit. Good crit, though. If we can get the, uh... Luigi's Shadow Clone Jutsu up a little bit, we'll probably be a lot better off, because... One, you can attack the guy at close range. And two, I think you can take it. Is an important facet as well. Hmm. Because I can get edge into dashing range, I can heal up edge. And take this guy out. Oh, no, no. I thought you had to buy it. This makes me very upset that I managed to make this mistake again. But I can't unfreeze you. Oh yeah! So your side should deal with that enemy for me. Luigi's trapped near this enemy, which is a, a bit unfortunate. I could just actually kill it. Expecting this guy to attack thingy. Yeah. Ha <laughs> <laughs> He's alive again. Can't reach though, but... He's doing his best. Okay, I think on this turn we just kill it. Hi, Luigi. We get Luigi into a semblance of safety. Yes. We vamp him up. Yeah. To do extra damage. <laughs> and we do that. And then we've got various uh, other attacks we can do.
Let's go! This is me totally ex... That was a noise. Expecting our enemy to uh, attack the nearest opposition. And everyone else has DPS. Did you hear that noise then? They're trying to stuff a cough. Make sure it doesn't come at you. Enemy has not gone for the target expected. But got evaporated. And I think we didn't take any damage. Okay. That was harder, much harder than I thought it would be. Oh, it did take damage. Much more maneuverability on that big guy. Oh well. Tidy dancers defeated. Gold prisms obtained. So we can get another tree. But for the meantime, with gold chandeliers hanging around, let's get out of here. Explore the last bit. A Palette Prime. Palette Prime? Yes. Pristine Peaks. They both start with P's.